Hey everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID mini-series. I'm Rachel Bishop, Community Programs Manager at WRI. This week we have another guest naturalist joining us, Elisa Lopez from Team Naturalesa, a wonderful organization working to make the outdoors more accessible for our Spanish-speaking community. Elisa is joining us in Wenatchee. Enjoy! Lisa Lopez and I work with Team Naturaleza. I am here in the shrub step. Last week you learned about the big sagebrush with Sarah. This week we are talking about the antelope bitter brush here in the shrub step. I'm also throwing in some Spanish science vocab. The first term is estepa arbustiva which means shrub step. In Espanol le llamamos a esta planta Arbusto amargo de antilope, that's just a translated term for antelope bitterbrush in Spanish. The antelope bitterbrush is normally between two to six feet tall. This one's about five feet tall and it can get up to eight feet wide. You can find this plant in the western United States and the first way that I identify this plant is by looking at the leaves. I know that this plant has kind of a double-sided leaf. The top side of the leaf is dark green and the other side will be a light gray green. The gray green side of this leaf is covered in tiny little hairs. These little hairs reduce the velocity of evaporation of the water in the leaf to prevent it from drying out fast. It also doesn't have such a strong smell as the big sagebrush, but it does smell a little naturey. This plant has a lot of branches or ramas coming out from the center. And another way to identify this plant is by looking at the bark. It is almost, it's a lot darker than the big sagebrush. It's almost black. If you walk by Jacobson sometime soon, you'll notice that the antelope bitterbrush is actually in seed right now. These are the seeds, or in Spanish, we would call them semillas. The tips of these branches are nutritious, and in the winter, the mule deer depend on them as a food source. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot, and don't forget to follow Team Naturaleza for more bilingual fun. Thanks, Elisa, for that great up close look at antelope bitterbrush. I've noticed some here in Leavenworth, so regardless of where you live, head out and go try to find this plant yourself. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>